in Syria. Activists are saying that fighters from ISIL are now within five kilometers of Kobani. That's the, the northern Syrian town on the border with Turkey. And Turkish tanks have now been positioned in the hills very close to that border as mortar shells landed on both sides. Stephanie Decker is there. More shelling in the Syrian town of Kobane. The attacks have intensified over the last few days. And it's also intensifying the anger here on the Turkish side of the border. Many Kurds have come to protest, saying the government is not doing anything to help stop the assault. We're protesting because ISIL and the Turkish government are collaborating against our people, the Kurds. If Kobane falls, we will all take up arms to fight for it, and we won't care about the Turkish government. They were soon dispersed, and some were injured. The security forces here are taking no chances in a border area that is already extremely tense. Turkish security forces have now pushed the protesters right back up that hill. They've managed to get them to the other side, pushing them further and further away from getting to the border with Kobane. The fallout, mortar shells are also landing here in Turkey. And as we were filming, a mortar from Syria lands just across the road from us. The Turkish army has a heavy presence here, but for now it has not responded. Head a few kilometers east and you can see one of ISIL's positions. It's this proximity that is worrying and angering many Kurdish villagers. We're afraid because we feel threatened. Shells have been landing near here and we are at risk. The Turkish government should intervene. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has said he will step up his commitment to fight ISIL. But for now, the armed group still controls large areas of Syria's border with Turkey. By sundown on Monday, a visible change in military positioning for the first time. These Turkish tanks are now facing the town of Kobane. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, along Turkey's border with Syria.